Welcome back to Helen Wolf Garage. Something a little different, but kind of the theme this week, I think. It's funny valve train noises. Um, this is my daughter's Kia Rio. It was originally my mom's. My daughter got it from her about a year ago. We painted it over a year ago uh, with the Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum black, you can see it's still shining, still doing great. Still looks amazing, but it's got a funny, really funny noise. Not good. Um, so not looking forward to this one. Um, but we gotta tear it apart, check it out. Uh, it's my daughter's only car right now, so hopefully we don't have to go buy another one. Um, the car has had a timing belt put in it not very long ago, just a few years ago, but it doesn't have very many miles on it. So that is a big motor, if you can tell. Huge engine right there. So yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Let's get this thing ripped apart and see what we get. Use a little pink cup. Try to keep everything where we more or less sort of need it, you know what I mean? Spark plug and stuff pulled out of there. They pull the whole wiring harness and stuff apart. These are like a, like a hemi. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a hemi. Big old hemi. It's part hemi. Part Kia. Stick those. Stick those over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the first one. First one went down. First one's down. And I missed one right there. And I missed one. And I missed one. Yo. Yowie. Pinched myself. I pinched myself. I pinched myself. That one is a bugger. Wow. Thanks a lot. That one was a tough guy to get out of there. Man, oh man. So this one was this one here, number two. It's missing the whole top end, whole electrode deal. So yeah, that is probably what I hear tumbling around in there. But why did it break off? Uh, is the bigger, biggest question. Uh, did it jump timing? Did the valve connect with the, or the piston connect with that? Or we have a broken valve? <sighs> that was kind of a fight to break this thing loose. She was on there and didn't want to give up. <laughs> so what we got here? I don't know why that spark plug would be broken off like that and nothing came up and hit it. Which is scary. So I'm gonna do a overhead cam. Anybody in there? Anybody in there? Mm. Mosquito got me. Mosquito got me. Little mosquito. Actually, all the cam and everything looks good. Cam lobes and everything look nice. This thing's had some dirty oil in it in the past. I feel like I need to go to the store and try and find a little magnet that I can stick down there because this is what's broken off inside the engine that's jumping around in there. I'm actually pretty sure. I don't have a magnet small enough. See, it's missing the whole top end of that. I don't know if you guys can see there. It's missing that whole top end. Yeah, it's missing that whole top end. I don't think that's the electro, the strap, I guess. So it's missing the whole strap. And I'm pretty sure it's sitting on top of that piston because you can hear it rattling around in there. That's that weird rattle that I'm hearing. Hopefully it hasn't got into the valve 
Hopefully it hasn't scarred up the piston wall or the cylinder wall too bad. But yeah, so I'm gonna go get some plugs. I'm gonna go try and find a little magnet that I can stick down there. I really don't feel comfortable putting this thing back together knowing that that little piece might be in there. And I definitely heard like a little rattling noise jumping around in there. Um, we thought it was just valve train, broken valve spring. Who knows, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think that's the case. Actually, the cams look really, really nice and clean. The oil stained really bad, like it had some really bad oil in it for too long or something like that. I idled it in here, I didn't even press the gas and it was missing and it was running terribly. But now we know why it was missing because it didn't have the strap on the spark plug but the strap is in sitting on top of the piston, I'm pretty sure. So we got it. We got to dig that out of there. So plot thickens, but if we can get that piece out of there, I will feel very, very comfortable putting this thing back together. Um, hopefully it didn't nip a valve. That's what really what my concern is now. Went to O'Reilly's and I found this little dude here. Hopefully I can kind of get it in there with like a little hook shape down into the cylinder somehow and search around and hopefully find that strap now we'll feel a lot better about putting this car back together and knowing that there isn't anything jumping around in there making more damage so uh yeah we'll try this real quick I'm trying to push it down a little bit so it bends and curves and see if i can get all the way around that top of that piston maybe it'll grab whatever's left of that deal is what i'm really hoping for It got it. It got it. Look at that. There's a part of that strap right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it got it. <laughs> That's kind of a small piece, so I'm gonna do it a couple more times. But I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, good, good, good deal. That makes me feel so much better about putting this back together. Hopefully, we don't have any more problems after this. Nothing that time. Powerful little magnet, that's cool. I have my doubts about this still. We did get that little piece out of there. I thought it was gonna be a little bigger, so I don't know if it broke off or anything. I've been fishing for a while and I haven't been able to find anything else in there. Um, every now and then you put the magnet down, you'll hear it click. I think it's just touching the uh, cylinder wall. That's all I can think of, because I can't pull anything else out of there. So hopefully we don't have a piece of a uh, valve stent or uh hopefully we don't have a piece of valve broke off that's my main concern i don't think we do i'm gonna go ahead and start sticking it back together just throw the throw the valve cover back on get everything kind of snugged up throw the spark plugs in it and see if we can start it up see what it sounds like all right Let's see. remember how to put this thing together now back together the same way it came apart right <laughs> I hope anyway. All right. I'm sure somebody will yell at me in the comments for using the impact, but it's fine. But believe me, I have broke off my fair share of nuts doing it, or bolts doing it that way. So don't recommend, but just trying to move things along here. Got a lot of other stuff I need to be doing. Like I said, I'm getting married pretty soon, so I got, my house is in disarray. We have been so busy with everything. Now I'm expecting friends and family soon. So yeah, I got to get my house back in order. You know, outside I got, weeds coming in that I need to get rid of and spray and pull and all that stuff. Hopefully this cures this car. Really hope, really hope it does. Hope you guys are paying attention. Hopefully we put it back together the correct way. We'll go ahead and try and start it. Wish us, wish us luck. Hopefully we don't hear any weird noise. sure what the hell is going on there it's not knocking but 
It does not want to run now. And it smells like catalytic converter. Maybe the catalytic converter's plugged up. Well, that was weird. I thought it was having like a computer or a tuning problem. And I do kind of smell the catalytic converter. Now it's running really good. And all I did was unhook the battery. You plug your positive and your negative and touch them together. And that has enough to clear the, the, the computer. And apparently it does because she's running good. Now this car has always had like a little lifter tick. Always, since it, since it was brand new. I remember when my mom bought this brand, brand new from the Kia dealer. It always had that little tick, which I hear, but I do not hear that rattling sound that I heard earlier. I wish I would have videoed it. Aaron heard it, he can vouch for it. It was a gnarly little rattle, but she is running really good right now. I'm gonna let it sit here and idle and warm up and do all the things. And then maybe we'll back it out and take it for a little ride. Now. I don't fit in this car very good. <laughs> so I only want to drive it one time and that's it. Oh yeah, fat guy in a little car. <laughs> um, it's actually running great. It's got its power back. I wonder if it was in limp mode or something like that. Not sure what was going on there. That was so strange. It just did not want to run there for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it right on the highway and get cruising just to see, see if it does any better. It barely would barely move under its own power the other day. Uh, Jaden, my daughter, was stranded in a turning lane and it wouldn't hardly pull itself to go so she got real scared nervous and called me um to go get her and said she was broke down um you never want to get that call and she was panicking and scared she'd had she's never been in a she's never broke down before so she was panicking and scared and scared me on the phone because she just kept saying my car my car and i was like oh no you know car accident for you know every father i think thinks the very worst you know every father thinks the very worst when they get a random call in the middle of the day like that and your daughter's like crying and you know kind of well my car my car dad my car and i was like oh no you know i was like i don't care are you okay and she's like no my car won't run or you know or something and i was like oh oh okay well just leave it in the middle of the road i don't care get away from it go sit somewhere away from it leave it in the middle of the road turn your hazards on it's all you can do now i took it for about a 10 mile drive about 65 70 miles an hour and then drove it around through town back and it did great so ac blows really cold in that thing colder than it does in my new truck so <laughs> little spoiled kid anyways guess i'll call that a win hopefully it stays that way not sure why it jumped over to limp mode but probably because it still thought that it had a problem in that cylinder is what i would imagine i think we got lucky but i called my daughter and uh she was super happy and super excited to have her car back so I'm sure she'll be over here in a little while to come get it. And yeah, all is great. All is good.